Happy Thursday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. Caroline here with a little quick workshop video update for you. Here at Evertote, at the workshop, we have some new shop models with a Leo and Roxy floss conversion done by our friend Ellen Reed, Maximum Cross Stitch Power Hour. Uh, Ellen chose two, the two samplers from the Honeysuckle Manor book from Blackbird Designs, which we are now carrying in the shop. And she stitched the two small samplers that were the project in this, two of the nine projects in this book. This book is chock-a-block full of um, just amazing little designs. So um, if you haven't seen this book yet, you get a pin box, a tape measure, a pin ball, a pin cushion, pin and needle cupcakes. Yeah, it's full, full. There's a little sneak peek preview. The smaller projects I think are equally as sweet. <sighs> okay, so the two, uh, the two sam samplers in this book were Hannah Lavina Jocelyn, 1856, and Margaret Harris, 1877. And Ellen stitched the Hannah Lavina sampler on a piece of 18 count Ada. This is the Fawn Leo and Roxy Flosco Ada, and that is the floss conversion she did for it. And of course, you can, you can see she personalized it for our Hannah here at Evertote. So the flosses, I'll tell you more about the floss pack in just a minute. I'll just show you the other model first. So this was an 18 count Ada in the fawn colorway. She chose to do the other sampler on our other linen that was suggested for this conversion, which was Panettone. So this is the Margaret Oh my goodness, I see Maud Charmin here. Margaret Harris, 1877. And Ellen personalized this for her great-grandmother. So the, the, the location, the name, the date, everything was for her great-grandmother, which I love. I love that she personalized this. And these colors look beautiful together. So this Panettone linen is, it's a Leon Roxy Flosco linen. I only have four, I have one yard of this fabric left. So I have it divided up into four more kits, full kits for the Honeysuckle Manor conversion. And that's all the Panettone linen I'm going to have until um, for the next little while. This is the linen that's being used in our holiday countdown box. And so any Panettone that's dyed over the next month is actually going to be held in reserve for those sets that we're putting together. So hopefully once we've got those um, kit, kitted up and set aside, then we will be able to add Panettone back into the shop for, um, for other purposes. So I only have four kits left with the Panettone. This is a 36 count linen, so that's all I've got. However, I have a few other suggestions here for you and I'll get to, I'll get to those in just a minute. So uh, now what I wanted to briefly touch on before I left this particular piece, uh, the Margaret Harris sampler, you can see here that there is some one over one stitching. The, the name and the date is done one over one. We did offer this, um, as, as you know, with an 18 count linen. And so I just wanted to show you, you can either rechart the words to be something anything that you want to put in there if you're working on an eight, on the 18 count ada you can redesign the words to be anything that you want and the and the numbers as well you can rechart that or i wanted to show you that it is actually possible to do a one over one tent stitch on an 18 count ada and actually i think it works quite well so i have a little sample piece here of this is uh, an 18 count in the catnap colorway and you can see I'm using a pink floss that is pink 182 is the Leo and Roxy Flosco you can see I've done a little row of stitches there 
That is 1 over 1 on eta. And all you do is you pierce the eta in between. See, eta's weave is made up of two warp threads and two weft threads. So all you need to do, let's see if I can do this, not actually looking at my actual stitching and looking through the camera screen. You have to bring your needle up in between those two stitches. See that? Now I think I, hang on, I'm gonna, so if you look closely, you can see that I have brought my needle up in between the two warp threads. And doing that is going to allow me to get in between and do a one over one stitch. And then you simply bring your needle down. You may have to, some of them are gonna land in the hole of the Ada, and some of them you will have to pierce the two threads of the, let me just make sure I'm doing this right. I can see it up close. And then for every other stitch, you will have to pierce the two threads of the weft. So if you're piercing in the middle of your block, you can achieve a one over one stitch. Make sure that's focused there. So there you go. It is possible. You can totally do it. Okay, so now let's talk about the floss. The floss in the floss packs includes plenty of floss to stitch both samplers. You've got enough floss in this pack, so I'm only showing you one of each color. The floss pack itself is chock-a-block full of enough floss to stitch both samplers as well as probably at least one or two of the other monochromatic designs that are in the, that are, that are in this book. So um, the floss pack always, as always, we count, we send it out with the conversion list right inside the package. So there's no guesswork. It's all been done for you. So let's talk about the floss. We've got Snowy Owl, Afternoon Tea, Sugar Plum, Plum Shadow, Titanium. If you're a fan of the Leon Roxy Flosco Steel colorway, Titanium is a lighter version of Steel. They go together beautifully. So that's Titanium. We have Arugula. We have Asparagus. Flamingo and Raspberry Puree. Beautiful. I love Raspberry Puree. Just a beautiful color. So that those are the colors that Ellen chose for this conversion. So if um, you prefer stitching on linen over eight, we have lots of the 18 count fawn in stock. Oh, and while I'm talking about that, let me just go, I'm going to go back a step here. Snowy Owl on Fawn is a little bit light. And so what Ellen did in order to help the, the white pop off the fabric a little bit more, she actually stitched all of the white stitches using two threads. So the other cross stitch on the 18 count Ada was done with one thread but the snowy owl, she used two threads. So two instead of one. And then that just helped it pop off that fabric just a little bit more. And there's plenty of floss in your kit to do that. If you would prefer stitching on linen and we run out of the panettone, 
The two other options that I've got for you, because we are offering the floss packs separately. We are now also offering the booklet chart and the floss pack separately. I know a lot of you already have this booklet chart, but maybe you hadn't kitted it up yet. But if you don't have it yet, and now you think that you would like, like it, um, we have it offered separately as a chart and floss option. This linen here is our portobello linen. And here's what those flosses look like on portobello. I think it's gorgeous. So it's quite a bit darker than the panettone, but I just think that's a beautiful selection and I think it would look great on there. So that's 36. I think I've got 32 count and I know I have at least 32 count and 36 count in the Portobello. I might have some 40, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The 40 count might be all sold out. Uh, but the other linen that's new in the shop that I actually haven't shown yet here, uh, but Hannah just listed this a few days ago. Now this is a 46 count. I only have this available in a 46 count. This is called Greige, G-R-E-I-G-E. -E. And that's what the floss pack looks like on this 46 count. It's beautiful. Yeah, pretty nice, isn't it? So the variegation, the modeling on this 46 count is pretty subtle, but it's definitely, it's definitely there. It's a really beautiful linen. So yeah, this is, I only have this at the moment in a 46 count and it's all listed in the shop. So I thought that would give you some ideas. But again, this floss pack is also available just on its own. If you already have the chart, if you already have linen in your stash, um, something along the lines of, of what you've seen here today, we have the floss pack available for you. And that's it. That's all I've got for you today. We're working hard here today on um, packaging and shipping some orders. We received our charts this morning from the printer for the, uh, the, the Nightingale chart, the new chart from Jacob of Modern Folk Embroidery. So we're going to be working today on starting to package and ship those out, as well as some other outstanding orders that are in the shop. And I will be here tomorrow. Uh, our Jacob Palooza registration is going to be available online tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will be back late tomorrow with a floss toss video showing you some of Jacob's other new designs and some different color variations um, in that I have, you know, I've been sort of dreaming up color combinations that will all just, you know, show off his patterns to their best, their best capability, but um, might be perhaps in colors that, different colors that you would prefer other than what he sort of uh, charted them for. So I will see you tomorrow. Until then, have a great night. Happy stitching, everyone. I hope that you have uh, maybe, a, if not a new project, something that you're really excited to be working on this evening. And I'll see you tomorrow. Happy stitching.